hosting the sponsor segment here at Downtown Podcast, which is really exciting. What's my name? Do you know it? Ah, 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 no, not today. Today my name is Joe Holiday because today is National Joe Day. It's true. It is. And you can celebrate any which way you like. You can celebrate with a cup of Joe. That's what Sue's has right there. Or you can celebrate just because your name is Joe. Or you can have Joe in your name. Like Joanna or Joseph or Joey or Jody. It's very exciting. Today is also National Quirky Country Song Music Title Day. It is. You know how those country songs, they got some crazy titles. So I'm going to read a few to you. One of which I made up myself. And you have to guess which one is not the real country music song title. Here we go. Did I shave my legs for this? Yes. No. Do you want the prize? No, I'm going to do them first. But I appreciate your enthusiasm, Dylan. Do you want fries with that? My baby's got Viagra because I'm a lot of woman. I... I ain't never gone to bed with an ugly woman, but I sure woke up with a few. All right, which one of those is not a real country song title? The Viagra one? Damn, you guys are good! That makes me mad that I couldn't have convinced you on that. And why did I choose that title? Because today is National Viagra Day! In 1998, FDA approved Viagra. I have two pills left, and just to show my graciousness, to show my graciousness, I will give one to someone after the show. If you're interested, just see me. Tomorrow is also National Mom and Pop Business Owners Day. Yeah, and I want to read to you the definition of mom and pop business from Investopedia, which I liked. Mom and pop shops are able to stay competitive by differentiating themselves from their large scale competitors with a unique product, exceptional service, and a personalized feel. And this, I feel, encapsulates this lady over here, who, by the way, is our sponsor, responsible for your free beer. that you do the amazing facials and the massages, but now you're starting manicures and pedicures. I am. Yes. Tell them the genesis. Why is that happening now? That's happening now because for the longest time we've all been hearing our neighborhood here in downtown Las Vegas needs a nail salon. So I figured, why not me? So um, that's it. I have an Indiegogo campaign up right now and there's 29 days left on it. And if you go to fetishspa.com, um, it'll take you to my Indiegogo campaign. Nice. Now you do everything. Tell them a little bit about your credentials. Sure. Uh, I've been a massage therapist for going on 10 years. I'm an esthetician, which is someone who's trained to take care of your skin, and now a licensed nail technician. That's amazing. Now I've done my research on this. She does everything there, like everything. No other place in downtown Las Vegas focuses on the skin like you do, with the hands and the feet and the nails and the face and the massage and the body, the whole thing. So um, tell them a little bit about how Indiegogo is going to help. How can we help with the Indiegogo? Sure. Um, like the community has been so supportive over the last year that I've been open and um, I'm just, I'm, I'm really looking forward to like spending a lot more time uh, engaging with the community. So I need to purchase some uh, supplies to get the nail thing started and that's basically why I have an Indiegogo campaign right now. You, you don't have far to go. I mean, no. we can, we can, it's, we're, we're going to make this happen. Thanks, Mac. Yes, yeah, I think we're we can. Get there. I think we can. All right. So now you have you have an intimate. This is she has a really intimate, like private space. Talk, tell them it's amazing. Sure. Um, okay. Well, I'm located on the second floor of Emergency Arts. Right it's around the corner. corner. Yeah, right around the corner. So if you haven't been by, please come by and say hi. Um, I'm on the second floor, and I'm in like the tiniest day spa you'll ever see in your whole life. It's about 140 square feet, and anytime I do any service, whether it's just an eyebrow wax or it's a three-hour um, package. The door is always locked. It's my client. It's me. 
there's lighting, there's music, and um, it's just the two of us. It's completely private, so it's a little bit different from what you, you usually expect when you think of like a typical nail salon experience. Yeah, so you go there and you're like escaping. I mean, that's nice, right? Yes, totally, yes. yeah. So um, April, a couple days away, is National Decorating Month. And on her Indiegogo, she has this video of these crazy nails that she does. It's nail art. It is. It's amazing. Tell them a little bit about that. Sure. Um, so you guys should check out my video because there's a really hilarious part where I'm showing off my Star Trek nail art. I did some pin-up girls. And it's, it didn't make it in the video, but I have it. So you should come by and see it. Like clockwork orange nail art, including like a cod piece. That is so cool. <laughs> So tomorrow is the 28th, and no, no, that's it. Yesterday was the 26th, and it was National Make Up Your Own Holiday Day. And I always kind of, <laughs> it's true, there is a, that, is a, yes, it is. So I always thought that my show, I'd want to wait for it to sort of have more traction before I made up a new holiday, right? But I'm like, you know what? Because all you have to do is just announce a holiday, like American Crew might say, hey, it's National Men's Grooming Day. And then it gets out there and it's the holiday. But I wanted to wait, but I'm not waiting anymore. I did research, okay? I always do research, right? There is no National Manicure Day. There's no National Mani Petty Day. There's no National Pedicure Day. I mean, you might not understand, but this is crazy. There's over 4,000 holidays a year, and there's no National Manicure Day. I don't like this. So we, Holiday What TV and Fetish, are creating a holiday. It's National Mani Petty Day. Who likes that day? You like it? on the last day of your Indiegogo, that's gonna be April 25th, and all we gotta start doing to get a holiday living on the internet is creating business, busyness, right? We're gonna tweet about it, Facebook it. How cool is that? The genesis of National Manny Petty Day, Holiday What TV, and Fetish Born With Us. I love it, I'm excited. Support the Indiegogo. Happy holidays, I'm Joe. Tag.